right before a race is such a, it's just like a crazy time inside my head. You know, there's so many different emotions going through it, but really it's just all about focus. It's just really making sure you stay cool and calm, that way you don't make a mistake, but also finding areas to where you can get that advantage on the competitor and you can go and you can try to win. I think right before a race is just probably the, probably the biggest point of where you're trying to focus and so your heart rate gets all amped up and you just kind of turn on your race face and go. My name is Mason Filippi. I'm a professional race car driver and my daily driver is a 2019 Hyundai Veloster N. When I wake up in the morning and I go and I jump in the, the Veloster N, it, it's, it's very special. It's, it's a very special driver area. You, know, you get in, you have these awesome blue seat belts, you have this beautiful shifter that feels great, has a great weight to it. You have these blue buttons on the steering wheel for the end mode and it's definitely a very cool experience. You start it up, has a great exhaust very comfortable but also fun at the same time which is such a cool combination to get. Hyundai, they're, they're new to the performance scene and uh, they really came out strong. I mean the end car, I love the Veloster and I, I, I love every minute I drive behind it and you, know, you can put it on normal mode, you can drive down the freeway and cruise and get your good gas mileage and then you can just switch it to end mode and you can hit the back roads or you can hit the track or you can just really just rip it. And uh, I was born in the Bay Area and so it, it's really cool to be so close to such an awesome city like San Francisco. But if you want to get some driving down, you got to go find some open roads more in the East Bay. Or... You know, as a professional race car driver, you get to experience high speeds when you're on the track. So you don't really have to push yourself on the road, which can take the Veloster N to the track and do track days and things like that, which I think is very smart for people to do. And so I really like to take roads and really just enjoy the scenery versus the speeds. You know, I don't really need to speed on the road because, you know, I have the, I have the race car for that and I get to get my adrenaline out on the, on the track versus the road. But it's really cool that Hyundai makes a car to where you can comfortably drive on the road and then take it to the track where you can get your adrenaline out. The engine in the Veloster and it's really cool. It's a two liter turbo, 275 horsepower with the performance pack and it, it sounds great. I mean, it has a great induction noise and you can even hear the turbo a little bit when you, when you wind down your windows and you're going for a nice, beautiful drive here in uh, California. And when you grab the gears and it all works so well together the, from the differential to the transmission to the engine, and it's so much fun and, and you know, it, it's just perfect. I think they really made the horsepower right for this car. What makes Hyundai so different from the rest today is I think that they're really putting a huge focus on drivers. They're just throwing all their efforts into making people just really feel like they're, some, they're part of something. And uh, it, it's really cool to be part of such a great brand and, and a brand that really wants to just car enthusiasts to, to have a future, you know, and I get really excited. When I was young, I, it was always kind of a dream. Uh, as I was racing Spec Miata, I, I kind of, I, I won my first Spec Miata race and I was like, you know, like, this is what I want to do. This is, this is what I'm going to pursue. This is what I'm going to try hard to do every single day. So I'm going to, I'm just going to pursue my passion. And so I've been really fortunate enough to uh, have such a supporting family and, and, you know, and it's been great. It's been a great experience. I've just had so many great opportunities and it's been so much fun. I'm so thankful and uh, Definitely from that, my, my first win is where I really caught the bug to just go, oh, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna just send it. And so uh, ever since then, and just kept going and going. I raced with Brian Hurd Autosport IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge in a Hyundai Veloster and TCR car. The season's been going very well and we're one and two in the championship, our two cars, and it's a very tight battle. And it's really cool because we get to battle our other teammates and so it really puts pressure on us as a team to not, you know, completely go and pass the other guy and like kind of block him and everything. But we have to work together, but at the same time, we're battling for that last final point. And the season's been going very well. The team is great. Brian Hurd Autosport and, our, and has been doing so well in our pit stops. And the Veloster and TCR car has been super reliable, super great. And it's just been such a fast car, even with a strong VOP. We're still pushing the performance of this thing. And it's amazing. It handles so well. 
Working with Brian Herta Autosport and Brian Herta himself is just so cool because, you know, Brian Herta, he has so much experience behind the wheel and he's such a great mentor and such a great coach and he helps me so much in being kind of a rookie this season. It, it was really nice to have him just behind me and just know that I can go to him and ask him any questions. He knows all the tracks that we've been to and he knows so much about the cars and so much about chassis dynamics and just he can really help you as a driver just learn so much and I've learned it's been like a sponge this season just learning all the information from everybody that's has so much experience on the team. between the road car and the race car, it, I mean the race car you get in, it's stripped out, you know, it's just a full-blown race car. It has aero, sequential transmission, wide body kit, and it's incredible. But what's really interesting is that when you drive both of them on the track, you can actually feel the chassis kind of works in similar ways. So they might not be as hardcore as a race car, the race car is just a really hardcore Velociraptor is the way to see it. And uh, they both work so well. and. You know, when you go in the street car and you go into a corner and you come in hot and you hit the brakes, the back end starts to rotate a little bit, just like the race car does, which is really, really cool. The race car, you know, you, everything's much faster, so you have know, more horsepower, sequential box, it's a lot lighter. And so that's probably the main difference is you're also strapped in, it's really hardcore, but they're very also similar on a, on a different scale. And so it's really cool to be able to drive the street car and the race car and kind of compare them both. Being part of the Hyundai family, it's just so great because you know they're starting out right now and they started last year and they're just really growing. They're growing so fast and they're growing so well and they're putting out such great cars. And they treat you like family everywhere you go and it, it's so much fun to have such great fans but also have such great you know a car behind you and to just see the performance of these things on the road and see the performance on the track. It's just so cool to see the Velociraptor doing so well and also the i30N. And, I'm just so excited for the future of Hyundai 2 to see what else they come up with because I just know they're going to come out with such great products.